Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. Connects line combinations from practice coming up uh, in, in a bit. Some interesting absentees today. Again, that's coming up in a bit. Meanwhile, all of our guests today are brought to you by our friends at the Waddling Dog yeah. in Victoria. And that includes the head coach of the Vancouver Warriors, Troy Cordingly. The Warriors play their home opener uh, tonight at Rogers Arena against Calgary. Uh, they've started the season out 0-2, uh, and, and Calgary is one of the teams uh, they've lost to to start the season. Troy, sorry about bringing that up, but uh, thanks for joining us, sir. How are you? I'm okay. Thanks for having me. No, no problem. That. No problem. What have you learned about your team after uh, two games, your first uh, season on the job? Uh, well, I, the pieces are there. We we know that. We had a really good um, training camp. Um, you know, we've had a bump in the road, a little bit of adversity, but, um, you know, we're ready to rebound back here today. Um, you know, we just got to clean up a few areas here and uh, we'll go from there. I think I've got this right. You're from Ontario, a grade two teacher. What convinced you to take this job? <laughs> well, I, I am. I uh, I'm a grade two teacher. I, I, I retire actually in five days. Okay. Uh, um, but uh, it, it was the challenge, you know. I, I like the people that are, are here. Uh, trust the people that are here. Um, and and there's some good pieces in this team. You know, we, um, you know, we we we've got to change a little bit of the culture here from the past but you know things have uh, have been going okay other than the losses um and we you know we just got to keep every time we're together every time we get out we got to get better and better if you teach grade twos boy have i got a guy for you <laughs> um my partner here hey uh, grade two teacher uh, at least you you were um or, 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 or you're going to be retiring pretty soon which group is either easier to handle students of that age or lacrosse players they're the exact same, exact same. And I don't mean that in a negative way, right? Teaching is coaching, coaching is teaching, and they go together. Um, so it's they're exact same, and, and, you know, both are very rewarding. Uh, one of the concerns, uh, Troy, going into this season was goals against. A uh, little high after two games. How can you get that number down? Well, uh, the first game, you know, uh, we really don't want to look at that first game because there was nothing going right that game. And, right. And we just weren't weren't uh, the way, playing the way that we can play. Last game, you know, uh, 11 goals, I think that's pretty good against. Um, you know, we, we're a little bit more concerned with our offense. We need to, to put up some more goals to, to win these games. And last week it was very winnable. Um it was nine, nine, six minutes left, or whatever you have it, and we just didn't get the job done. Troy, six and twelve last year. The team was obviously before you got here. One of the good things that came out of last year uh, was uh, rookie defenseman Reed uh, uh, Boring. Uh, talk a little bit about him. How's he been? He didn't win the rookie of the year. Many thought he should have, but he could use that as motivation this year. Well, he should have won it last year. This kid is is the real deal. Uh, last week, you know. Uh, I thought he was the best player on the floor by far on either teams. Um, the kid has a lot of passion. He's a highly intelligent player. Um, and, you know, everything that he does and, and just the way he, he's just a true professional and it's, it's all about our team, uh, the way he presents himself. And, um, you know, this is only his, he's his second year and this kid is a, a bright future. Yeah just amazing we just brought up in the break where my kids went to went, went to school and uh reed went to school with my kids in wow in park equitlam at, at assumption out nice. there hey uh, uh, uh troy uh, you've been associated uh with this league for a, for a long time with the national lacrosse league of course you played senior lacrosse, senior lacrosse including a stint with the Coquitlam madnax but how much has this product how much has the national lacrosse league product improved oh massive massive i i joined the league in 92 i believe um and you know it was kind of a um, a barbaric league you know mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff that went on that you know, obviously can't get away with today but it's just i mean the, the product is unbelievable these kids are machines um it's fast as it's the fastest game that that you know is going on right now um entertaining um and you know it's 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 just a, a true professional league and and you know obviously 
uh, being a league in this, involved in this league and being kind of a pioneer, you want to see it progress to uh, to being a true professional league um, because you have professional players playing this game and and you know it's it's just only going to get better and and you know by the league expanding in that it's it's proving that um, um, that it you know it's it's trying to become the fifth major league. Well, this is a little uh, late, but welcome uh, to Vancouver. And by the way, Troy, the, the, I just want to tell people that the, the, your team's colors and its merchandise is tremendous. That hat, I, I, we, we have to call someone to get, a, get us some yep. of those hats. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, thanks so much for this, Troy. Best of luck tonight and the rest of the season. Thanks, fellas. You guys have a good one. You bet. Thanks, Troy. Troy Cordingly, head coach, Vancouver Warriors. They started the season 0-2. That was on the road. They play their home opener tonight against the hated Calgary uh, Roughnecks. And, and Donnie, just one playoff appearance uh, for this franchise in the last eight years. Yeah, going back to the yep. stealth. Yep. Yeah, I know. And, and Chris Gill, I know, uh, let go in the offseason and last year 6-12. and 12. Average attendance right now, Donnie, 7,000, just under seven. Uh, but if you get a winning team and you start going deep, it'll go up. It'll go up. And you and I remember. It's a great night out. You know, when the Vancouver Ravens, uh, the birth in 2001, and uh, we were right there because that's the year the 1040 started. And the Ravens games were on 1040 in year one mm -hmm. in 2001. So there is a good lacrosse uh, base in, in town. Of course, yeah. But they need the Warriors to, to, to winning season after. And you talked about culture. You know, we've talked about the Canucks culture. And it's amazing. You brought up culture. And it's in every sport, Donnie. It, it's, you know, it's amazing. The culture comes up in every sport. Rogers Arena tonight, Warriors and Roughnecks.